Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna cover as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So let's start straight into the four hour time frame because as you can see, my friends, we have right now this bottom currently here of around $55,400. As expected yesterday, if we would have fallen down from this symmetrical triangle and this is what exactly happened and you can see that with this buy signal that we got here in the four hour and also in the three hour time frame we now are seeing these bounce and it looks like that, that this previous support now at around 57,500 is now the new resistance at least for now and that's why it, this is also the reason why I don't have right now a long open because I want to see the price consolidate above the moving averages, especially the 20 moving average exactly here at the resistance and of course also above the EMA ribbons because we are still in a downtrend in the four hour time frame. So there is still a high chance that here maybe we could get rejected and we're gonna fall towards the main support that still is untested here at around $55,000 and therefore maybe even come down to close the CME gap that we still have down here at around $54,000. So this little CME gap is still open, my friends. We already have closed this one over here at 60K, but this one down here at around $54,000 here on the CME chart is still open. And that's why I think there is still a high chance that here maybe we could get one more time rejected then fall down to close this gap and here then we're gonna see if we are seeing then a big bounce to the upside or we're gonna continue to crash lower because if we're gonna lose here this support at $54,000 and we're gonna fall off the cliff here from this support that we have currently right here at this price level, then I think we could be in for a major sell-off or a bigger correction down maybe towards a 20 weekly moving average, which right now is at around 40K. But if we are able to bounce there, if this support here will hold at around 54 to 55K, then I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see here a big bounce to the upside and then continuation towards 62,000 dollars our main resistance and then push higher towards new levels because we have very bullish signs also in the dxy and also in nasdaq and that's why i think here in the crypto space we also going to see very soon big fireworks to the upside we are seeing already now some of the altcoins starting to go completely parabolic to the upside and i think it's just a matter of time till also bitcoin here is gearing up for a big move to the upside and start also to outperform the altcoins again here in the daily time frame you can see that we are closing now candles below the 20 daily moving average we have the 20 daily exactly here at around $56,600. So if today we are confirming this as a resistance, then I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see here this final move down towards uh, 54 to 55K to close also that CME gap and confirm this support trend line again as a main support level. And therefore also then we should expect a big bounce again to the upside. But I think we are only out of the woods once we are closing candles at least above the $57,600 level or even better above this resistance up here at around 59k so if you want to trade the safe way then maybe wait until we're going to consolidate again above 59k because in that case we most likely are going up here to test $62,000 and then maybe also go higher to also create new all-time highs so the daily time frame right now is again in a very critical point but since we are still looking very bullish in the bigger time frames i'm expecting here to go higher and see a bounce very very soon so this uh, little bounce that we are seeing today is maybe not the bottom but uh, could be the bottom so that's why if you want to trade a bit risky then start already now to buy more and also long bitcoin right now because this could be the bottom but i still think that we may be gonna see one more leg down towards this uh, cme gap that is still open because otherwise the daily time frame is still looking good and if here we're gonna see a follow through to the upside this will also here trigger a similar buy signal like we also had a couple of times in the past here in the daily time frame and also we are still bouncing uh, from the 50 level in the RSI so that is of course very very bullish and if we go over into the weekly time frame 
I just want to show you again here the nine week moving average exactly at 54k so that is important that we are not dipping below this important moving average bitcoin never did one single dip below this moving average during the whole bull run since we broke 10k and for the worst case scenario that we would lose this support here then we have to target here the 20 weekly moving average which currently is here at around 40k and that would make very much sense that if we're going to lose here this support that we could crash down to retest the 20 weekly and latest here then have a big bounce to the upside and return to our big parabolic bull market maybe not immediately but at least after maybe some consolidation then we gear up again for our bull market because if this was a low Local top here at 62k then maybe yes we're gonna see that correction and consolidation maybe down here at around 40k but overall we are still in our bull market and then far away from a cycle top in my opinion even though we could get for now maybe a local top somewhere if not here at 62,000 maybe at 80k or 100k and then have a bigger sell-off but overall we will most likely not see the big cycle top during these next couple of weeks and months i still think that most likely we're gonna see the absolute cycle top more towards the end of this year but let's see what will happen here my friends for now bitcoin is looking very bullish and with this bounce that we're seeing in the lower time frame this could be now the bottom and we will go higher but if you want to trade the safe way then wait until we are starting to consolidate again above 59k and if we have a look into ethereum you can see that also here we have seen here a little uh, pullback but right now we are recovering again we also got here a buy signal in the four hour time frame the only problem is also here that the rsi currently is trading below the 50 level and it looks like that we are getting rejected for now so only if we are able to go above the 50 level in the rsi and also here back into an uptrend so start to close four hour candles again above 2050 dollars then i think we will see new all-time highs very very soon but if here we are getting rejected then be prepared that we could see a full retracement back down towards this main resistance which now should be acting as a new support right at $1,850 where also the 200 moving average is lining up in the four hour so it would make sense that ethereum could once more come down here to retest this new support and then gear up for a big move to the upside but it's already possible that here this was the bottom and if we were able to close now four hour candles above $2,050 that we will see continuations to the upside also here very very soon and in the daily time frame you can see that currently we're trading below the nine daily moving average so that's why it is very important that today we are closing again above this nine daily moving average so above 2050 dollars otherwise this complete retracement back down towards this support which also is coinciding with the 20 daily moving average here in the ethereum price will most likely get tested if today we are confirming the nine daily moving average as a new resistance at least for now so similar like in bitcoin right now ethereum is in a critical point we have to wait where the daily candle will close because a close below 2050 dollars will indicate that we most likely are coming down to test the 20 daily moving average and therefore we're gonna first go down to test 1850 before then we're gonna see the absolute bottom here for this correction and then gear up towards new all-time highs so even though Bitcoin and Ethereum currently are in a very critical point, I'm still more leaning to the bullish scenario than to the bearish scenario. Also because if we have a look into the DXY, you can see that we are still dumping here and currently we're getting some support at the 220 daily moving average. But since we are not seeing right now a big bounce from this important moving average, I think that most likely we're going to continue to consolidate here or maybe even go down to test the bottom of the EMA ribbons, which currently is at around $91.80. Sense, and therefore that would be very much in favor for the crypto and stock market so that's why i think that here in the dxy we most likely gonna continue to go a bit sideways here maybe even see continuation down towards this bottom of the emas maybe even go down to test the 50 daily moving average and as i told you my friends if the dxy is crashing then this is very much in favor for the bitcoin and also ethereum price and not only for the crypto market this is very good but also for the stock market and if we have a look here into nasdaq you can see that we are still going up and you can see that we are now coming very close to this resistance here this all-time high of around thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars and that's why if nasdaq is able to create new all-time highs here 
I think that will also be very much in favor for the Bitcoin and Ethereum price. So let's see what Nasdaq will do here, because if we are able to create new all time highs here, that would be very bullish for the crypto and stock market. But if here we're going to create a double top formation and maybe an M pattern, that of course uh, could be a bearish sign. But for now, everything is looking like that we will go up here to test this all time high and then we're going to see what will happen. I'm still leaning more to the bullish side, my friends, but of course, we still need to wait what will happen on those critical points and of course also if we are able to consolidate above previous resistances to then create them as a new support same like on bitcoin the important thing is that once we are above this all-time high of sixty-two thousand dollars, if we are able to break it that then we also gonna create a new support and continue to go higher and higher here without getting a blow of top because that could indicate that the local top is in right now and then we should be prepared to see bigger sell Sell-offs down towards important supports like the 20 weekly moving average or also in the worst case the 200 daily moving average which currently is down here at around $32,000. So that's it for now my friends. I'm still here in Davos enjoying my Easter holidays here. So shout out to everyone that is following me here on YouTube in Davos and of course also in my other channels if you want to join me over on Instagram Twitter and so on make sure to join my other channels with the links down below here in the video description and also if you want to trade this volatility that is coming up for Bitcoin and Ethereum make sure that you have an account ready over on Bybit and Femex to trade there Bitcoin and Ethereum up to 100x leverage you find all my referral links to sign up for free to those exchanges in the description with my links you will also get some bonus and you support the channel and also a big big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our discord community here then make sure to use the official link in the description and then go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want to get access to my live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you can contact me here directly with a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the indicator otherwise just get here a membership subscription over on youtube like this you also get free access to the live stream indicator here on discord you also just have to contact me then over here with a private message so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye